You know, I keep hearing that it's going to be really difficult to find a literary agent, especially because I'm self-publishing, but I really haven't found that to be the case. Like, last week I was at the dentist's office, and the lady who cleans my teeth, Kimberly, asked what I do for a living, and I said, I'm a writer. Boy, it was more like, Arr. and she was like, whoa, you're not going to believe this, but I work part-time for this woman, Angela Withers Big, who is a literary agent. And I was like, oh my god, are you here? And she was like, yeah, I'm serious, and I could probably get you a meeting with her. And I was like, oh my god. Uh, uh, uh. And, you know, I spat and I told her that I've already paid for editing and I have someone working on cover art and formatting. I'm already doing marketing as much as I can. You know, but it would still be really great to have an agent. And she was like, yeah, I totally get it. I didn't think too much would come of it, but she ended up calling me a couple days later and she said that her boss would be willing to meet with me and possibly uh, agree to represent me for the standard industry 30% is is what she said and so I actually have my first meeting with her this afternoon so I'm pretty excited I'm really nervous but I'll, I'll let you know how it goes So, should I start, or do you... I love your office. It's a cool clock. What kind of shampoo do you use? Do you have any pets? Well, this is stunning. after we die? How old were you when you got your first period? You're just like a really good listener. And like, I really appreciate that about you. I don't really get out much. No. Are you? Is she sleeping? She... Jinx it. That that went great. 